Hey! Happy year 2022! Welcome back to A Review, the show that talks about shoes, apparels, and tech. In this video, let's talk about the Jordan 1 High Bar 2. Its quality, its pros and cons, and its resale value. The shoe was first released November 21st, 2021. This is actually the sequel of the Jordan 1 Low Bar 2 of the year 2015 so the retail price of that pair was actually 100 bucks or in philippine peso 4995 and then on ebay i saw it sold in a size 12 for 180 or 9180 which is not a bad price for a low top so let's actually discuss a real issue right now nike actually increased their retail value by a few bucks if you see some sneakers in your stores right now well, back then, if you see those pairs and you like, you memorize the price, if you go ask the new price right now, you're going to see some big changes from Nike. Okay, now let's go to the Jordan brand. Jordan brand actually increased $10 on the Jordan 1 high model. That's, that's actually a big deal, especially I live in the Philippines and then it's actually a big, big problem because... Uh, in the Philippines, when we resell sneakers, we don't actually resell that much. Like, we don't earn that much from it. So, if you're, if you're watching and then you're an international uh, buyer or reseller or whatever, if you get sneakers from the Philippines, you'll probably get it a lot cheaper. Okay, going back to the main issue. With that being said, a $10 increase in the price is actually difficult for us and that it's actually more scars for us in the Philippines to get some items like this because especially me, I'm a size 13 going and size 14. So in those two sizes, it's actually very difficult for me to find my size. So it's, it's, a, it's an issue. It's an issue. That's why I'm putting it out there so you guys could have some thoughts about it. Um, if you have some thoughts, uh, comment it down below. Share with us what you have in mind if do you think that the nike nike's 170 dollars jordan 1 high is actually a good thing in philippine peso that's 9095 and then the old price of this is 160 it's 8095 let me know what you guys think comment it down below and let's all think of what's happening right now last year around christmas i actually was blessed to stumble on this pair which at that time i actually called a christmas miracle because this was actually the last size 13 in titan bgc and then the the shop owner actually told me i was super super blessed because the other one there was actually two models there was actually two size 13s at that time and then they said the size thir the first one was actually sold and then i got this one which is actually a blessing because there's one left and it's perfect in my size and it's dead stock so that's a good thing so i actually had thoughts of either selling it or keeping it but looking at it right now or and having it in my hands for this long i actually would like to just rock these and this will be a pair that would stay in my collection for quite a while because it's super easy to style Okay, so let's look at the resale value. The resale value of this right now on StockX, the highest that I have seen is going for 265. In Philippine Peso, that's around 13,515. And then the lowest that I have seen, well actually it's not the lowest, it's more of the average price that this is actually going for right now on StockX is 220 so that's kind of a good deal if you see a price on stock x that's 220 get it that in philippine peso that's 11,220 but i actually go follow some instagram resale stores there in the u.s and then i actually see that they sell this for 250 well it's a respectable price because it's in between 265 and 220 so 250 you still have like 10 bucks that that's okay i mean it's their price so let's just respect their price so that's it so now let's have a closer look of the jordan one high bordo so now let's look at the jordan one high bordo close up so let's first look at the lid of the box for obvious reasons 
Is there any changes? Well, it's the same. It's the same. So let's just focus on the pair right now. So this right here is the right pair. So let's look at this. There. In my opinion, it's not actually kind of a Bordeaux colorway. It's kind of a Burgundy colorway. But I think it solely depends on you guys and how you see this colorway. That's in my eyes. So the leather is actually very, very soft. I think this is such an underrated pair right here. The leather here is super, super good. It's super, super premium light. There, let's look at this. There. That's how good it is. And by the way, guys, fun fact. This is actually what Jordan calls the Jewel Way logo. It's actually found on the pair that actually changed history because at that time, Jordan was actually planning a, a jump from the old, old design, which is actually just the painted version, to the Jewel logo when they went to the 2001 model, I think. I think that was the CO Japan at that time. So the CO Japan was actually selling very, very high. And then this is the logo that they have. This is the Jewel Wing logo. And I'm super, super happy that they actually brought it back here in this model. There. So let's look at this. Are there, there are some blue wings sticking out of the shoe. I mean, that's pretty normal. So the, the quality is not bad. And then let's look at the outsole. This is what the outsole looks like. There. So they have not done any changes here. The leather is pretty much the same. And then here. Trademark and everything. So it's still made in China. But I don't know why it's 170. I really don't know why it's 170. So that that's really really something I am really really curious about. And then this is the this is the size tag, but let me just fix my camera angle. There, can you see it? There. Then you can use this logo to authenticate your shoe. So I'm, I'm actually suggest, I'm urging you to guys check the shoe that you have. Use this video to check if your shoe is authentic or not. So we are now on the left pair. So the left pair obviously always has the extra lace which in this case has the white extra lace. So you've seen some Jordans with three laces, uh, one laces with no laces, but it's a good thing that they actually put extra lace. Maybe that's something that Jordan might want to consider. I mean, since the pairs are the 170, why not have all the Jordan 1 highs with extra lace? I mean, think about it. What do you guys think? Same. It still has the jewel wing logo. The leather is super super nice. I mean if you have this model just just try doing this. It's super super nice Here There There so I actually want to check the insoles right now so you guys could check the insoles. So here Let's just remove the insoles right now And if you can see it, it's actually very very hard to remove Okay, that was surprisingly fast. Okay, here. There. So, wow. Okay, they actually did something different. I, I, I noticed it from the take. Uh, from the previous model, they actually used a very, very sticky kind of tape. But now, if you look at the bar though, it's actually not that sticky. I mean, that's, that's something. Because the issue when your tape here is very, very sticky. When you actually wear it and then you want to remove your insoles, the issue that happens is this actually tears and then it sticks on the shoe which is kind of like a gum thing and then it's not nice. Wait, 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 let's look at the box, let's look at the box. Let's look at the box before we stop. Let's look at the box. There, here, this is the outside of the box. So you guys could authenticate. There, and then the inside for obvious reasons, you guys check this. So there's two white, one black, and then what? No, this is not black, this is actually Bordeaux. 
There, it's Bordeaux. It's not black, guys. Sorry. It's Bordeaux. It's two Bordeaux. So that's it. And now let's have a quick montage of the Jordan 1 High Bordeaux. So now let me give you my thoughts on this shoe right here. First off, let's look at this part over here. Did you know that on Instagram, I actually saw a post that the mock-up of this shoe was supposed to be Bordeaux here. I mean, imagine seeing a two-tone shoe. Will it still have the same impact to you guys right now? Or do you think that the silver swoosh on this shoe is a good touch? Mm. Comment it down below. Let me know. Let me know. Number two. Let's look at this part over here. This is the Jewel Wing logo. So the Jewel Wing logo was actually first introduced back in 2001 from the CO Japan colorway, which is the shoe that released two years ago. I think. Yeah, two years ago. Yes. The silver one, the shiny one. And then one youtuber actually got married recently so so shout out to him and then they actually got married and then the shoe that they have is the metallic silver i mean think about it that's actually a good colorway and people don't appreciate it yet i mean i don't know why and then back in 2001 the first release was actually selling for 10k uh uh, you have it right now and then you don't want it. You, have, you don't have it back then and you want it. I mean, think about it. That's something to think about. And then, so, this, is, this comes to my third thought. So, this is just my opinion. It doesn't have to be yours. You don't have to like it or you may like it. Let me know in the comments. So, what if all the shoes, the high top versions, comes with the extra lace? Because I've seen some Jordan 1 highs who just does not have the extra laces. I mean, think about it. The price is now 9,095 or 170 USD. I mean, who wouldn't want an extra lace with their shoe? And then my last opinion of the shoe is the resale market. So will this spike or will this brick? For the small sizes, this is actually going pretty well. 270 plus small sizes go or up yeah that's that's not bad and then for the big sizes so to my big guys out there watching this video on uh, the big sizes the highest one as i've said earlier is 265 and then 220 i mean 220 is not bad offer that's that's okay but it's not much profit but it's still profit um this is actually an interesting hold because i have no clue i have no clue if this will spike to 300 plus or even more in this colorway i mean the low tops back then sold for 8 180 which is 80 bucks above the retail price which is pretty pretty decent to be honest um i don't know let me know what you guys think down below if this shoe will reach 300 dollars or not a good hold or a bad hold let me know i'm curious so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching my take of the Jordan 1 High Bordeaux. So if you have some questions, clarifications, or you just want to talk to me about sneakers or collaborations, if you guys out there want to, um, comment them down below. Or if you're too shy, you can actually find my email in the description below. Just do give me an email and I will try to answer as fast as I can to each of your emails because there's a lot and on instagram i actually have a sneaker page follow me on instagram my username is at a underscore review 2020 so i will immediately accept your request and then if you have some sneakers that you guys want to find or if you see some sneakers here on my channel that 
piques your interest, well, go ask me on my IG, then I will tell you if I could source them out for you or just help you. I hope you guys could support me there. So that's pretty much about it. Style well, play well, and wear your sneakers.